I'm Dale Mildenberger. I'm the head athletic trainer and senior associate athletic director at Utah State University. I've been the head athletic trainer at Utah State University for 33 years. We are just moving into our new sports medicine complex. We've actually occupied this premise for the last six days. So we're still in the final stages of construction, but we're extremely excited because we've moved into our sports medicine complex as part of our total north end zone athletic complex. And that complex includes sports medicine, equipment, the equipment issue room, uh, new locker facilities for the men's football as well as women's soccer, softball, and track. Second floor would be coaches' offices, meeting rooms, lecture halls, with the third floor our academic center for our uh, academic enhancement, our academic coordinators, uh, computer labs, study halls, and those types of things. In sports medicine, we've simply opened up uh, this area which is just short of 11,000 square feet. It's designed to, to accomplish several purposes. First and foremost, the health and welfare of our student athletes and the care that's necessary in providing that in a, in a competitive Division I program. But also we have incorporated within it a sports medicine research component. That sports medicine research component comprises of, of professionals as well as, as graduate students. Those professionals can include uh, team physicians, physical therapists, certified athletic trainers, strength and conditioning coaches. We have them all housed within this central facility with offices along this hallway in conjunction with our research center, or it makes up our research center, which is composed of those physicians, those therapists, trainers, strength and conditioning people, and we have 11 graduate assistant athletic trainers who are here doing master's research. All of our graduate assistants have their own uh, work area, research area. We have within this facility designed a research li library with the electronic means now available to all of our researchers. We intend this to be a seven day a week, almost 24 hour a day thing as these students do their their studies, their research, we expect them to do that here. Their need to physically go to a library is somewhat less now than it ever has been. With the physical housing of all these professionals within this complex, as well as the clinical laboratory aspect of a Division I program operating, we feel like we have some unique uh, research opportunities at Utah State. We wanted everything to be state-of-the-art. We wanted to be able to do leading-edge rehab, injury prevention, and research. As part of that, as we look to hydrotherapy and aquatic research, uh, HydroWorks came to our attention. And we investigated a lot of other opportunities and, and possibilities. We felt that HydroWorks was the leading uh, component in aquatic uh, rehabilitation. Now, we do not have an unlimited budget for this project. And so for us to spend and commit the types of resources necessary to put in the installation that we have, we felt very strongly that this was, was in fact the direction to go. And with the administration's support, uh, they were very excited about what our chances were and what our possibilities were to do leading edge sports medicine research in the area of aquatic uh, rehabilitation as well as other forms uh, within sports medicine. So our focus is not only clinical but research in nature and we think that we have a unique atmosphere. We're very proud of our facility and um, we're looking forward to uh, new and exciting things at Utah State University.